salutations everyone, Amadeus44 here, and welcome back to another episode of Neverwinter Nights 2. So, finally defeated the hill, or the fire giants, we got a new merchant, and we also got something from Aldenon, uh, some kind of quest thing. Any dang way. Captain, oh, hi. there's a sheriff from a nearby village that wants your help. Well met to you, Captain. I'm the Sheriff of Leaves. We're a small village just south of your patrols. Our patrols mm -hmm. have made some of the bandits go elsewhere in search of easier pickings. Which sends them right to Leaves, I'm afraid. Uh, what happened to the village? The bandits have raided our village twice. First time just to steal our pigs, but we're thinking it's going to get worse. So Leaves <clears throat> wants us to send regular patrols their way to stop them. Your Lady Kana has the straight of it. It's a lot to ask, I know, but we're desperate. Hmm. If we send men over there, those are men we won't have for our own patrols and duty. It could set us back on our own front. The decision is yours. That is a... tough one. Station one patrol to their village to the system. Thank you, Captain. One of your patrols should be able to really make a difference. Yes. A full patrol? Captain, that could set us back on our front. I hope you've made the right call. Hey, at least I did not uh, send half of a, uh, half of my men there. Right? Right. Also... Let's see what's going on with that construct. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, nothing else going on. So, let's go. Hopefully the people of Leaves could become an ally. Hey, construct. Yes, yes. You may want to ask Grubner any questions about it since he spent the most time with it. Hi, Grubner! Oh, hello. Sorry. Just a little out of sorts. Mm -hmm. Have all these thoughts bumping around in my head. They're a little, well, a little confusing. What's wrong? Well, it's about Chandra, really. It, it just, well, got me to thinking. Right, I right. mean, she wasn't with us very long. And there wasn't anything to be done to save her. I, well, felt rather helpless and sad. And the whole thing seemed rather unfair. I don't really know what to say about it except say it. Mm -hmm. But I, well, was kind of wondering what you thought about it. You know, death of friends. Uh, I am sad that we lost her, but there's nothing we to do but carry on. It is sad. That's it, exactly. Yes. She didn't deserve what happened. Not at all. And I'm exactly. afraid that the more we fight, the more we'll lose. And the more unfair it'll be. Um, I had other questions for you. Also, just an FYI, uh, if we don't fight, then all of us would lose. Think about that, Grobner. Of course. Ask away. Always ready with answers. Yes, indeed. Uh, I think I got some beasts for the conflict. Oh, really? Let me see. Oh my, yes, this should help nicely. Excellent. Let me see what I can do with this and what I have here. There we go. Needs a little more, I think, but it's well on its way. Excellent, excellent. Other questions? Of course. Ask away. Always ready with answers. Yes, indeed. Uh, I want to talk to you about the Wendersnaven. The Wendersnaven? What about them? What do you know about them? Ah, uh, yes. Well, it is impossible to truly know the Wendus name. Right, right. Since by nature they are unknowable. Mm hmm. So, they're sort of like my imaginary friend, huh? Really, go on. You see, they see everything, know everything, and exist everywhere and nowhere at once. It's truly quite amazing. Huh. How is that even possible? They'd have to be, well, big. Their size is also a great source of speculation. Whether they are mighty giants, hundreds of Kelgars high. What did I tell <laughs> you about using me as a unit of measurement? Ahem. Right. Several Nishkas high. 
stretching up to the clouds. Hey, that's actually kind of a nice image. Thanks, Grobnar. Or whether they are so small they cannot even be seen with the naked eye. Hmm. Oh, where would you find such creatures? Oh, Wendrith them, of course. Of course. And where's that? Wendritham is up in the clouds. There's many gateways to reach it, scattered throughout the realms, but they are hidden from mortal eyes. Uh, you really think all this exists? Well, yes, but you see, there's so many other fantastical things in the realms. Does it really seem like it's that improbable after all? Hmm. So, you think you found an invisible musical instrument? Also, you've been, uh, you've been doing some kind of illegal stuff, haven't you? Uh, you know, um, something to get your mind in a bit of a haze. Anyways, you found an in instrument, eh? Think? Oh, no, I certainly found one. It's quite the instrument, lovingly crafted with a clear tone. Um... That doesn't sound like an instrument. It sounds like you humming. Yes, I know it may seem that way, but that is only one of the many wonders of the Wenda Kazoo. I love it so. Of course you do. Let's move on. <clears throat> I'm going to keep an eye out on you, by the way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Still no response. Well, at least I got some construct parts put in him. I worry about that bard. There's a matter that requires your attention, Captain. Mm -hmm. There's a group of people here to see- It is a pleasure to meet you. Hi. You've made a bit of a name for yourself and me and my band were hoping to impose upon you. You see, we want to follow in your footsteps and become adventurers. So we've pooled our resources to equip ourselves. And now all we need is a mission that will get us gold and riches. Now it's not just about that, Dayrid. It's also about making the realms a safer exactly. place. Exactly. Too much mischief afoot these days, if you ask me. Right you are, Brother Maxwell. So, do you have any work for us? Hmm. Turning them loose sounds like a bad idea to me. Even when we first set out, we had more sense in our toes than this lot has between them. You're true, but... Um, let's see. Kana, is there anything these adventurers can help us with? Near Port Last, we've heard rumors that the Luskins are plotting something. If I had any spare men, I'd send them to investigate. You hear that? Now that's an adventure. Let's take the high road then. It's just a rumor. It could be nothing. Wait! M make sure you have enough rations for the journey, and don't worry, we'll get to the bottom of this. I fear uh, we've set those poor fools on a dangerous course. Yes, um, so I should be heading off to Port Last then? Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, let's go and head out first, because I want to make sure that there isn't anything else that we can do. Okay, hi, Master Beetle. Oi. Hi, Master Beetle. Excellent, construction's complete. Uh, <clears throat> rebuild something. Yes, yes. Uh, keep itself. Hmm. Let's begin work on the West Wing. Excellent, excellent. Now, do we have the merchant uh, here? I see the moon has been at your back. Ah, you look good, well. good. Hi, Dagan. Um, it's been a long time. Uh, I was worried about you. Why didn't you tell me anything about the attacks going on? The mayor has grown dark, and many villagers needed help in leaving before it was too late. Yes, yes. And I have sought the scent on the breeze to learn of the dark hunter. King of Shadows. Right. More can still be learned in the mare, but I have discovered something and had to tell you at once. Uh, tell me what? 
I heard one of the scouts was asking about me. Oh, well, Nep. You're Dagon, aren't you? Your son has... I am Dagon, yes. And you are Eleni, of the Circle of the Mayor. Mm -hmm. Once of the Circle, yes. What do you want? Ah. Uh, what do you want uh, with Eleni? It does concern her. It concerns you both. Really? As I hounded the trail of the Dark Hunter and his minions, I came across something I thought lost. The druids of our lands, the Circle of the Mayor, still live. Really? That's impossible. You're mistaken. If they were alive, I would know. I can only venture to the swamp for brief periods of time. The reeds and waters feast on the living now. I followed the druids, and they had a ritual I think sustained them, even in the claimed lands. Huh. The Circle. They must have found a way to restore part of the Mare. Keep it from the influence of the shadows. If so, we need to find them. Yes, yes. They can tell us more about what's happening in the mayor than anyone. And if we can get them to ally with us, we may even be able to stop what the King of Shadows is doing to the land itself. That would be a good thing. Uh, if these druids are even remotely as powerful as you say, they would make valuable allies. That was my thought as well. Thank you for understanding. Then you must make haste at once. If this is your course of action. Exactly. Thank you for bringing this information to us, Father. No gratitude is necessary. We are at war and it must be done. I will mark the location on your map. Thank As for you. now, I have other duties in the defense of the Sword Coast in this keep, and I must see to them. Oh, you're... Your father's not one for showing emotion, is he? It's difficult to see how he raised you, and you turned out so different. Yes. Eh... Uh... Dagon has a good heart. He sacrificed much to raise me properly. He certainly did. I, for one, am pleased with the results. Regardless, are you we flirting need to with find me? A circle. But as for reaching the location, that could be difficult. Ah, uh, I thought I heard the cries of a damsel in distress. Someone had to fill Chandra's role, eh? Bishop, this doesn't concern you, so stop spying on us. Yes. My dear, with you around, it pays to be extra watchful. I like to keep an eye out to make sure you aren't trying to play our leader for a fool. Bishop. And because you don't always fasten your robes as tightly as you should, sometimes I catch a glimpse of other secrets. Bishop. Bishop, stay your tongue. No, oh, I will. But before you reprimand me, why don't you find out if you need a guide first, since your father seems so anxious to get away from you? So where are these friends of yours, Druidus? I'm sure we're all dying to know where they rabbited off to. They're in the Mare, along the northwestern reaches, near the settlements the orcs attacked many years ago during their incursion into Neverwinter. I suspected that might be one of the places. As for the incursions, it wasn't just orcs. Uh -huh. That's near an area the King of Shadows isn't likely to have claimed yet. Might be a good staging area to look for your dead druid friends. Dagon says they're alive. Maybe for now. Still, if you want to go, I can guide you to a safe port on the edge of the marsh. <sighs> All right. That would be welcome. Your sword is welcome, Bishop. Save your gratitude until we get there and see the truth. But we better leave soon. Something tells me those friends of yours may have to move around a lot if they want to avoid the shadows. Yes. Bishop's probably right. All right, then. I'll set out now. I'll start scouting the path and join up with you only when need be. It'll save us all a lot of time. Uh, pardon me, Captain, but if I could just uh, have a moment of your time. If you don't want a dagger between your ribs, I suggest Bishop. you ask for alms elsewhere. Shush. Uh, so it's just me and Elaine, huh? So, let's go and get her a little bit of leveling up. Uh, it's wisdom that she needs, right? Yes. Okay, so, boop, boop. Uh, yeah. That should do, that should do. Oh, more leveling, yay. Uh, lore. Yeah, sure. There we go. 
Another one? Nope. Oop. Yes. Yeah, let's go with myself. Uh Hi Jacoby. I was stationed on the mirror for years. Nothing good ever comes out of it. Well, except for you, of course. Hope you don't mind an ex-campaigner's advice, but the cloaks could use some attention. If a fight comes to the keep, I don't know how prepared they are. Can we talk about upgrading the weapons? Here to help. I have enough materials to provide new weapons for the men. What do you want specifically? What do they have now? Well, managed to get some real weapons in each Grey Cloak's hand, but doing more is going to cost some gold. I want good weapons, then. Uh, as do I, as do I. Proper weapons will take a considerable Im investment of ore and time. My time's yours, but the rest will take gold. Here we go. Excellent. Glad to see you taking care of things, Jacoby. Hey, Dad. Bye, Dad. Okay, so... Did we tell this person about the uh, ore vein that we found at the uh, mountain? Battle, victory is forged in iron steel. I would urge you to equip your men the best you can. Your deposit. Your crate will prosper if you continue to find, find so well. If for those in your employer, here's your, your coin and I will have a sample for you later as always. Woohoo! Let's part to coordinate the mining efforts, but I will return as soon as I can. Ooh, 250 gold. whoop de doo Okay. I'm glad I didn't, uh, use the services of Wolf's Minion. Uh, Eleni. Follow. Follow me. Thank you. Okay, so we have Eleni, Kelgar, Nishka. Uh, should we do Quora or Sand? I'm going to go with Quora. Except, and is that going to be, yeah, Circle of the Mirror, right here. Travel. Not so interesting that the strange clearing is still around. Okay. So. Oh, Bishop. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. Glad to see you coming along. That's uh, dexterity that rangers need, right? Uh, da, 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 da. <clears throat> yeah, bear it. Uh. Rangers, that's the word that I was looking for. Let's go two points parry, silent moving, listening, and spot. Uh, dinosaur companion? Fine, I'll get a dinosaur companion. Sure, why not? Finish, level up. Yay. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Next. Okay, so what next? There we go. And so let's go. Bot and survival. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Uh, favorite enemy. Hmm. What would be a good favorite enemy? I'm gonna go. Elementals. And let's go. <clears throat> I think he is using a longbow. Uh, I'm gonna guess yes because I don't see an improved critical for longbow. 
or weapon focus. And let's go. Hmm. Yeah, sure. I'm not going to be using you very much, so just dump stats where I can. Just gonna get you buffed up to everybody's level. There we go. Perfect. Yes. Now then. Can we find some druids? You can almost feel the shadows in the air. Indeed. <clears throat> if you stay still for too long, it's like they start clutching at you, trying to drag you down. Uh, I do. We cannot stay long here. Whatever the circle did, they must have found a way to shield themselves from it. Hopefully. If we can find out how they've done it, then we can reach the Vale of Meridelaine. I'm certain of it. Let's keep moving. It's not much farther, right? Here's the gathering place. Now... Hold on, S something's happening. I can just make it out. Yep. Yep, critters. Hey, critters. Druids! Woo! I feel more at peace with each passing day. I know you sense it as well, Naven. Will silence be your only answer? Silence and contemplation is my only peace in this place. Do not forget, I am your captive, Vashni. Wait, what? We keep you here because we believe in the circle. In time, you will see that we are right. And when the shadow has passed, you will feel one with the land again. Mm. This isn't the mare anymore. You treat the shadow as if it were a passing mist. You fail to see how it now hangs upon you, upon this whole place. Indeed, indeed. We are caretakers of this land, and we cannot abandon it. We're caretakers of a graveyard. Free me from this prison, and let's stop the decay from spreading. Elders? Is it you? Uh-oh. I spotted. Elders, forgive me for not seeking you out sooner. I thought you had all died in the claimed lands. How did you... Who are the ones who follow you? Hi. Uh... I am Amidus. Eleni. Who are they? They are my allies, my friends. They helped me reach here. They have the stench of civilization and war upon them. As do you. Dun, dun, Our path dun. to Neverwinter and through many battles. But this is the one from West Harbor, elders. The one I... The one I had been watching. Uh -huh. The Shardbearer? You have brought the Shardbearer here? Hi. I he cannot seem to tear her eyes from him. Which was the problem before? I believe. Uh, I think we all need an explanation here. Actually, I'll do the second one because that's a bit more direct to her rather than everyone. Eleni, what are they talking about? I was tasked to watch you as you grew up in West Harbor. The Circle asked that I observe you. Hmm. For strange events seem to occur around you. Really? And I had reasons of my own. Yet she could not turn away from you, from civilization. She would vanish to the border of the mayor and watch you for days upon days, weeks, and then into months. Intriguing. A circle is not complete when one of us is missing, or is too distracted with the trappings of civilization or its people. Uh huh. I am certain Eleni meant no harm to the circle. Thank you, but I must answer for this. There was no need for me to... There was never any need for her to watch you as she did. Elders, please. I did not intend. And even now, you defend yourself rather than admitting your negligence. She might oh, as well be one of the harbormen and have shared their fate. Your fascination with the Shardbearer meant that we were less aware of the changes coming to this land until they were upon us. Mm. We are fortunate this time that the land itself has chosen to speak uh, you speak of a common foe we came for your help who are you to ask of us you carry within you the very symbol for your civilization's capacity for destruction elders this king of shadows it poses a threat to us all 
not just cities and towns. Exactly. Have you ever seen this King of Shadows? No. Have you spoken with it? No. Then what is this king other than a story used to explain forces greater than ourselves? You're a narrow-minded person, aren't you? Uh, we overheard you earlier. What does your former leader think? I am a captive here, Shardbearer. A captive because I refuse to resign myself to madness. Mm. Eleni, the shadow is anything but natural. I don't know if the mayor, if Mayor Delane can be saved, but I know that we cannot accept it. We must not... Perhaps I have misjudged your value, Naven. What have you done to him? For a druid of power, living within the folds of a tree is nothing. As the land changes, we must change with it, Eleni. Stop clinging to what the mayor was and accept it for what it is now. Your friends will never see as we do, but it is not too late for you. Come back with us and help us weather this storm to its completion. Do you truly think what is coming is for the best? Uh, listen to me. Mm. Let's see. Maybe the first option? Listen to me, but... Fashionist's right about one thing. The mayor's time has passed. What do you mean? Uh, you're more in touch with the land than they are. You hear it's pain. They're dead to it. But they are the circle. They have tended it for decades, centuries, always. Maybe they simply hear it clearer than I. Uh... They are the circle, not the mirror, and you have seen what the King of Shadows can do with even the strongest of people. I... Yes! You're right. They're speaking madness. Then you are lost to us forever. I am sorry, Eleni, but we have no choice. And you, Shardbearer, you have been allowed to spread your influence for far too long. I sense a battle. Uh... I am sorry to see even the circle has been corrupted. I take no joy in this. Okay, did I gain any influence or lose any? I'm just curious. Come on. Oi. Well, I've gained some influence. I'll accept it. Okay, so... Should I... Who should I fight against? Uh, Mirdrud. Me sure, why not? Oh, excellent, excellent. Well, fortunately, we have more than enough followers. Including a sword. Uh, yeah. Mirdrud. Come on. Yeah, yeah, you're a dire, you're a boar. Woo. Sorry, guys. I do not want to do this, but... Your corruption, it's not good. Uh, let's see here. Next uh, enemy? I don't see anything. <clears throat> it is done. The circle is dead, like the mirror. Sorry. What's happening? Wait, continue. What happened here was unfortunate, but your actions were the right ones, Eleni, and the circle was dead long before you arrived. Don't be unsettled by Vashni's words. I believe you have seen things more clearly than any of us. What will you do now, Elder Naveen? Or Naven? I... I do not know how much is left for you to watch, not any longer. I don't know. The circle is gone, as is the mirror, but much remains untouched. What happened to the circle? We were too complacent and, unlike Eleni, perhaps not watchful enough. Though we felt a change in the air, we could not understand it. The poison of the shadow spread quickly. Some of us failed to adapt and perished. 
Vashni and his followers breathed the poison deeply, learned to adapt, but whatever eats at the mirror, eat at their hearts as well. Uh... <clears throat> The King of Shadows won't stop with Mir. We can use your help. Vashni was right about one thing. You are, in many ways, the root of these troubles. When the swamp last burned, the shard in your chest made a black mark on the earth. Sad. However, this conflict ends. I know you will be the center of it all. My place, however, is with what remains of the Mir. Before I go, tell me, why do you continue to carry that bird in your, in your chest? <clears throat> uh... The shard may have brought ruin, but it can mend things new again as well. Perhaps. But can it mend the wounds of the land? Some things can never be undone, though you may strive to do what is right. Farewell, Unlady. It looks like we must find a new path. Farewell, Elder. Just Naveen now, Eleni. You did much here today, and I think we may speak as equals. Let's go. All right, at least there's a bunch of uh, loot here. Excellent, excellent. Ooh, Wand of the Heavens. Very nice. Is that the first wand I ever uh, found here? Possibly. Word Staff plus two, not bad, not bad. All right, and that is it. And I think that'll do it for this episode. So, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment, or whatever you want. And as usual, this Omday is 44 signing out, wishing you a wonderful day, and happy gaming. Farewell.